Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love message tarot reading session for you Aquarius. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good Aquarius. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is coming towards you. What is the message for, you, for Aquarius please in love, relationship, dating and getting to know. This is a love message for the Aquarius sign, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. This reading for today, this is for Aquarius. This is a love message for Aquarius. If you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, sorry, maybe you're connecting with the Sagittarius. Um, if you would like to further connect with me, Aquarius, oh, you're here. Um, <clears throat> I invite you to also be part of our mailing list. The news, the link to the to join the mailing list, it's down in the description box below. I'm not reading reversals. And um, let's see what's coming towards you. <clears throat> what's the message in love, relationship, dating, and getting to know? This is for Aquarius. Okay. Okay, um, let's get your overall energy, Aquarius. What is the overall energy for Aquarius, please? You have the six of pentacles in upright position. Hmm. I feel like you're getting, I feel like Aquarius, you are getting to a point where um, it is enough, um, like fake, you know, six of pentacles. There's something that you are faking or you're not being through to your feelings, okay? Um, there's something in the Six of Pentacles where you really, you really need to be honest with your feelings. You need to be honest with a little voice in your head because there's a need for you to recalibrate or um, tweak the feelings like feelings and effort there's a an imbalance on how you are perceiving or actioning or replying responding and it's connected and it's connected to your emotions and effort your emotions and the effort back and forth or in and out it doesn't match so you need to really be honest and be through to yourself to match what you feel towards what you're actually doing and whether what you receive is is equal or enough or fair in the situation you are romantically six of pentacles okay now let's pick up more intuitive message for you you have the eight of swords the page of cups the five of cups and a star card there is a lot of indecision indecisiveness with the eight of swords i feel like this is you and your person you're dealing with a person or a situation a romantic energy where you know page of cups page of cups like you're trying to really get through it you know you're trying to make it happen and i feel like your person is also i feel like your person or the romantic energy connected to you they are also trying to make it happen you know the star card is here um you could be dealing with someone younger than you or maybe they have kids or maybe you have kids but it is sad to give up also you know that song it is sad to belong with someone else yeah ten of cups oh wow i feel like aquarius you and your you and your person it's kind of separated right now or the link okay i feel like this star card and ten of cups it is in a manifestation stage where right now right now it's feeling sad it's feeling lonely it's feeling out of sync where you feel like you're kind of lost with where you are when it comes to romantic or communication or giving emotions or receiving emotions but the eight of pentacles in here it means that you have a lot of time you have all the resources and a strong potential let's put it that way because there's a five of cups there's a five of cups. It's really sad, but I don't think you would concentrate on being sad. 
because you've got the star card and the ten of cups i feel like you and your person will eventually come out of this five of cups the sadness the gloominess and things will pick up for you again um there's a call for you guys to be busy to kind of heal and i'm seeing you guys regrouping again you know um the ten of cups is in manifestation the healing is here so whatever indifferences you have uh, or challenges or block it was put there to test you and not to hurt you i feel like you and your person you guys are becoming or you're really realizing each other's worth because um in the current energy you've got a the page of swords in here so it means that there's gonna be a one-off message you know page of cups king of cups that would change everything like you've got doubt you have this you know fears and doubts and like a lot of sadness in here that things didn't work you're still manifesting to fall in love or to have love or to reconcile with this person and i'm seeing that in the horizon for you it so happened that the buildup of low vibe energy between you and your person or maybe within you you know because there's an internal fix that needs to happen um you're in the process of fixing that in and out external energy you've got a message page of swords so this shall pass in short because you have the star card your card and ten of cups you are you kind of not like I'm, I'm getting like yep you might not understand why it has to be this way but there's a learning in here and ten of cups you both are manifesting ten of cups happiness or if it's not the same person you're still you know wanting ten of cups the ultimate happiness um in the current energy what's coming towards you is a page of swords the king of cups i'm really getting like a one-off message that would um change the way you judge perceive or conclude i feel like you're you know with with the world card in here i feel like you're kind of giving up or closure or saying goodbye world card seven of swords i feel like you're, you're going to change your mind you know this message the situation that's connected to you i feel like it's going to change your mind it's not what you expected it's actually the opposite of what you have expected you know because i feel like i don't know maybe you haven't talked to this person you haven't you know seen them or speak to them but there's a lot of healing that took place when you disconnected and it's just for the better page of swords king of cups king of cups is full of love and the world card it could be overseas um but it's a closure of a bad cycle and you're entering a new cycle the seven of swords in here is because i feel like this will take you by surprise this situation for you is going to take you by surprise i haven't even you know pulled some you know clarifying cards but take you by surprise yeah six of swords the knight of cups yeah for some of you you've got the last minute proposal of love knight of cups in here right now moving to the immediate future i'm seeing like unexpected message like this is the plot twist that you never expected aquarius this is really not expected because you were manifesting ten of cups in the past and you guys are healing forgiving and a lot of moving on in here the seven of swords the seven of swords in here i feel like it's 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 a hidden energy surprising factor and you've got two of wands look at that two of wands it's meant to be this surprise message this game changer message that's coming your way it is meant to be it, it's kind of feeling like you're meant to be separated to be reunited again you know you went through you you were meant to go through that kind of worst thing to get to know each other to kind of release to make the bond strong stronger with the two of wands in here there's a lot of confidence you know because I'm, I'm seeing like the four of cups you you were never expecting this to happen four of cups you were you have already given up you're somewhere out there you're kind of manifesting new love for some of you guys but then this, this person tower card boom wow like it has shaken you up and wake you up that hey my manifestation is actually working that there is love in the horizon for me that i have a chance with my star cross lover my one and only love it's just really needing time 
it will come to you unexpectedly. It will come to you when you're almost given up. Aquarius, you are almost given up. Almost given up with this person. You're not giving up on love, but you're giving up this person pretty much. Because this is you. You wake up one day with their message. And the message is loud and clear. And it's strong. And it's about love. It's about reconciliation. It's about a message that goes, goes straight to your heart. Aquarius. Wow. So, whatever, whatever you're right now, whatever you're doing right now, you are in the path of healing. You're in the path, in the right path. Don't ever think that the universe is punishing you. Uh, you are going through, um, I'd say... Um, like a spiritual awakening that we, we, when the time is right, love will come, love will follow you. And there, there you go. This is it. This is the one probably for you guys. It will never come back for, you know, for to break your heart. It's, it's second chances. Very, very strong second chances, Aquarius. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. It's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys. I hope you like it. I hope you've connected with me. If you do, I would appreciate, guys, if you click the bell and click subscribe. And I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.